right. Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 3, Section 3 in McDougall Littell's 8th grade textbook entitled Solving Two-Step Equations. All right. The lesson today is based on the same premise as the last several days, doing the opposite. Okay, or using the concept of inverse operation. The only difference is now, instead of doing each one separately, now they're all lumped into one big equation, and you have to know which uh, operations to use. On the right side of the board, you can see we have the steps here for you. And I've raised apart, which is good. the steps for you that we'll use when we solve two-step equations. Step one, write the equation with the variable on the left side and first. If already in this form, go to step two. Write the equation with the variable on the left side and first. If already in this form, go to step two. What I mean by variable left side and first I mean that the variable needs to be on the left side of the equal sign and it needs to be in the first term. So in examples 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's already done for us. And on this one, you can see the variable's on the right side, so that's wrong altogether. In this one, it is on the correct side. However, it's not the first thing we run into. It's the second thing. We hit 7 first, then the 2x. We want that variable to be first. Okay. All right, step two, move the lonesome numbers, or what we would call constants, to the right of the equal sign. Move the lonesome numbers, or constants, to the right of the equal sign. And then step three, use the rules for one-step problems. And unless you're flipping, meaning you're going to take the whole left side and the whole right side and flip them, anytime you've got to go to the opposite side, you use the opposite operation. One more time because I know some of you have just gotten in or are still writing. Step one, write the equation with the variable on the left side and first. If already in this form, go to step two. Step two, move the lonesome numbers or constants to the right of the equal sign. Step three, use the rules for one step problems. Unless you're flipping, remember opposite side, opposite operation. All right, so let's try and apply that knowledge when we work with examples one and two. All right, example one, 2x plus 7 equals 23. All right, as you can see, the first step says I need to write it so the variable's on the left side. Well, it is to the left of the equal sign. And first, it is in the first term. So that's fantastic. We don't have to worry about step one. Step two, move the lonesome numbers or constants to the right of the equal sign. So we do have a lonesome number here. That would be the seven. Lonesome because there's nothing else with it, no variable. So I need to move it to the right side. Since I'm going to the opposite side, I have to use the opposite operation. So there's a plus in front of it. The opposite then, of course, would be to subtract. So I have to subtract 7 from both sides. All right, so I do that, and I get 2x equals 14. All right, now we're back to the rules for one-step problems that we've used over the last couple of days. This is a multiplication problem now. The inverse is division, and on the side of the variable is 2, so I have to divide across by 2. Except I did this again. I did that again. 23 minus 7 isn't 14, it's 16. Nice. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Sorry about that. plus 1 equals 7. All right. 
Step one, write the equation with the variable on the left side and first. All right, so the variable is on the left side of the equal sign and it's in the first term here. Fantastic. All right, step two, we have to move the lonesome numbers or the constants to the right of the equal sign. What's my lonesome number that's not on the right, Corinne? The one. The one is not on the right side. It has to get over to the right side. How are we going to get one to the other side? By doing what? Subtracting. Subtracting. One. Subtracting one. Good. Okay, there's an addition sign here. The opposite operation is to subtract, and we're subtracting the one. So I do that, and I get 3x equals 6. Now we're using the rules for one-step problems that we've had in the last two days. I have 3 times x equals 6. Opposite inverse, or what's the opposite operation of multiplying? Divide. Dividing. What number is on the side with the variable? Three. 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 So I'm dividing across by three. That will indeed give me x equals two. 